So we're gonna set up a private link connection to this multi-AC cluster here. First thing you do is you add your AWS account to allow it to, uh, to connect to uh, this private link service that we're copying there. So that's the identifier for this private link connection. We we'll use that to look up the service later in IDWS console. So we're gonna grab some DNS information here that will be used to uh, configure the Route 53 uh, private hosted zone later. So now we have the required information from Confluent Cloud and we'll jump over to AWS and create uh, the endpoint. So we'll create the endpoint and we'll look up the service uh, using the service identifier. Uh, make sure in the right region so this uh, completes. Uh, the endpoint is a multi zonal endpoint here, as we saw it had a three, uh, it was spread across three AACs. We also need a security group attached to it. We're going to be reviewing the security group later, but you basically need a couple of ports allowed to uh, make sure you can connect to Confluent Cloud properly. So now we have the endpoint. The next thing we need to do is we need to grab the zonal uh, or the uh, DNS aliases for the endpoint. So there's uh, three or four each of the AZs as well as a, a non-AZ uh, bound uh, alias. We're going to be using these in the C name records later and uh, we're going to get rid of some padding there that we don't need. And the next thing that I like to do uh, when I use the console is to grab the availability zone mappings between uh, the AZ name and the actual AZ ID because those are not consistent across uh, AWS account. So this makes sure we can map the proper um, AC ID to the proper uh, uh, endpoint DNS alias. So Route 53, uh, the name of the zone is going to be uh, the DNS domain, domain name we grab from Confluent Cloud. We make the private zone and map it to the VPC where we have the endpoint located. We also need some records and this is going to be C name records. Uh, the star record, startup record is going to be uh, the non zonal record. And it's going to map back to that non-zonal uh, DNS alias for the endpoint. And then we're going to be creating three uh, zonal entries that will map back to uh, that uh, corresponding endpoint DNS alias. And that's where we need that mapping between, uh, or it's good to have the mapping between the zone name and the zone ID to make sure that you grab the right one. We can see that AZ1 uh, maps to AC uh, name 1A in our setup here. This is a bit of tedious work and obviously uh, doing this programmatically with Terraform is uh, something we recommend and there is uh, scripts provided in the docs uh, for that if you want to do that. You can also see here that I'm actually missing the star dot in the first couple of records. So there I'm adding the stars uh, going back and adding the star dot so we make sure that we cover uh, those uh, zonal DNS entries in the, in the proper way. I will drop that last DNS alias for the VPC endpoint. Uh, in there and now we have the four records that are required to make this work to test this we can do it in a couple of ways first thing we're going to test uh, oh yeah we need to review the security group as well uh, hopefully you can spell better than me but you need a couple of ports at least uh, 443 and 9092 to be able to hit uh, the service next thing to test the TLS I uh, grab uh, some of the information on the bootstrap as well as the, the command there that's actually available on the docs uh, the open SSL command um, so just kind of populate that with the bootstrap pull down the certificate and verify it and we do that from a VM that we have in this that VPC so that looks good there same thing with Kafka cat uh, we're not gonna we're not, we're not now we're gonna be hitting the cluster and pulling down the metadata and to get access to the cluster, we need some credentials and we create those here using the API keys. Obviously you need Kafka Cat installed on the machine that they run this from. So connect back to AWS or the VM, issue the command and there we have the metadata. Great success.